Hello everybody, it's Bernadette from Blibby Art in Cape Town. So you all know that I love working with colour and I love experimenting and I'm working on a 40 by 50 centimetre canvas today. So I'm going to be doing a two-tone multiple bloom on canvas and I'm laying down my pillow paint which is regular house paint. I'm using Durham wall sheen that I've thinned down with a little bit of water. So because I'm working on a bigger canvas today, I've placed a school writing blackboard underneath it on top of my, my spinner and uh, just to give me a bit of substrate to work on. So I'm going to move that around, just trying to pick everything up, just moving the, the paint evenly across the canvas. Um, we'll, There's quite a bit of air bubbles, so I'm going to need to pop them with the with a torch. Just getting that even, even on the surface. There we go. I think that's good. I'm going to sit that down. So just torching some of those air bubbles, getting them out of the way and smoothing the surface of the paint on the canvas, getting ready for those colours. So today I'm going to use uh, two different sets of colours. I love to play with colours and just to see what I'm going to get as a final result. So I'm going to be using a very um, natural palette today. I'm going to add some blacks, some greys. I've got um, some deco art, uh, black pearl, I'm also going to use a pearl white, um, a little bit of gold and then I'm going to go um, into the more muted browns, rose gold and a deco art calls it a ruby but it looks like a copper. <laughs> so those are the colours that I'm going to put on this canvas today and hopefully we get a good result. So. Mm. The surface of my paint seems to be nice and smooth. I've got um, two deco art colors. Uh, this is the ruby and the rose gold in the deco art. And I'm also going to be using a burnt umber. My next palette is going to be deco art black pearl. And I'm going to use my midnight blue again. Shade between a Prussian blue and a Payne's gray. And I'm also going to be using April white and on top of both of those drizzling some of this beautiful beautiful gold it's a metallic gold right let's see where we're going to go with this Brown, natural I'm going colors. to start with a um, this is the uh, the burnt umber and then I'm going to do the rose gold This is the ruby. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to do a white and a black cell activator today. I'm going to do the white first. And then I'm going to do the black. And every time I'm going to do a bloom, I'm going to first blow it out before I need to do the next one. Right. Let's blow this bloom out. I'm using cool air and first the low speed and then I'm going to switch to a high speed.
let's go with the next color this is the midnight blue just love the shade then I'm going to go with the first of all white light on top that midnight blue and then I'm going to add the black pearl that took her out there we go I want it with a little bit of gold like that and then I'm going to go with the first the white again sun activator and there's the black First the white and the black. All right, let's slow this one. First low setting and then high. I'm going to do some smaller ones right here one there and a tiny one here I know it's going to get blown off but I want to see almost an indication that there was a blue so I'm going to do the darker one here Drizzle of the gold, just a drizzle of gold right there, beautiful. And then there's the white sun activator and there's the black sun activator. There we go. So I'm going to give that a small blowout. small one right there like that and I'm going to do a small one right here as well just like that and I want to do a tiny tiny one up here as well just there as well just the bunny so in this section I have speeded up the video um, multiplied by four speed and I have continued to add extra blooms to the painting uh, for balance and also to create some more interest uh, in the final version I hope 
so just blowing out those blooms now and uh, filling up the canvas before we finally take it for a spin and stretch love that now i'm going to fill up my sides with the leftover paint just so that i have the paint has something to latch onto as i spin it out um, it needs to go the distance right over the canvas i'm just filling up those empty gaps now and then we're going to spin it out there it is i've mixed up a 500 grams in total of this paint and it's enough to cover to cover my canvas enough to cover the canvas and still allow that paint to flow over the sides as we spin and stretch all right that's not good all good looking forward to seeing the end result of this it's time for us to spin and stretch let's do that Oh, wow. Let's go this way now. There we go. I think that is my last spin. I just want to get the, this middle bloom just a little bit. Just stretching it down, wanting that bloom to move a little bit down. And then I'm going to give it another spin. Okay, I'm in love with this painting. I love it. There we go. I think that's it. Love, love, love. I'm in love with this painting. Just love it. I love the composition. I love the balance on this canvas. Those colors complement each other so well. Um, there's such softness and beautiful, beautiful lacing. The cells look amazing and the colors are just beautiful together. So let me bring you down to your place. So thank you all for watching. Take care everyone. Until the next one. Bye for now.